Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and this is the Katie Cat Nails channel. Today we're going to go ahead and get right into the unboxing of Madame Glam's new January release, The House of Glam. And before we get into the gels, I just want to remind everyone that they are vegan, cruelty free, palm oil free, 21 free formula, and HEMA free. So that's especially great for people that have super sensitive skin or are looking to find a more um, like ethical way to paint your nails, you know? So that's just something to keep in mind. Here are the four shades that I selected from this collection to bring to you and they are um three of them are absolutely beautiful purple shades and one is like a pinkish nude absolutely gorgeous colors and they definitely did such justice on the nail set that I did today. I absolutely loved the design and I loved each and every one of these colors. If you are not a first time watcher, you will know that my favorite color is purple. So for me, seeing a collection that had multiple purples to choose from, it was a no brainer as to which ones I was going to select. The four shades that I selected from the House of Glam collection this month are all cream shades and they're all their super pigmented formula as usual. You will definitely see in the upcoming footage exactly how well one coat does, especially when you're actually applying it on the nails and not just a swatch because I did do two full cover, um, full color nails. So you're definitely going to see how like pigmented and how well this gel polish really does cover your nails. If you are good at applying gel, you can probably get away with just doing one coat because these bad boys are stunning. So now that you've had a look at all of the colors that I selected for this collection, let's go ahead and get into the swatches. Now, I'm going to try not to talk too, too much, but these colors are just absolutely gorgeous. Royal card is like a royal purple. The lighting on my phone was a little weird for the beginning of this video because I was wearing a bright neon green shirt and having very little background when it comes to filming, I didn't realize that the, the light was gonna reflect off of my shirt and cast like this weird glow. So I do apologize for that. I promise I will not be wearing any neon clothes for future videos, but these shades are just all so gorgeous. So I am going to go ahead and let the rest of the swatching play out. And I did leave them in real time just because this was such a quick video. And I really want you guys to get an idea of how easily and how quickly it is to apply each of these shades. And this one for sure was my absolute favorite. It is just such a beautiful dusky purple. Um, and me being a Virgo, I absolutely love the fact that it's named Earth Sign because hey, yes we are. Um, this was definitely my favorite. I absolutely love the richness of the color in this shade. And these are all four shades that I chose for this collection. The House of Glam definitely has a lot of other shades that I really need to get my hands on. There were a, quite a few, I think there's like a couple blues and greens that I really want as well from it. 
but let's go ahead and get into the actual nail art. So what I decided to do for this nail set was I wanted to try some vertical ombres with my new ombre brush that is also from Madam Glam. So as you can see, I did the darkest shade and the lightest shade on my pinky, and then I did the same colors on the middle finger that you're watching me do here, but I switched them so that they would be opposite because I'm going to use the um, Astrological Goddess, which is this lighter shade, to do a full coat on the ring finger. And I thought that it would be cool if it would be shadowed by ombre shades of itself, if that makes sense the way I said it. Um, so pretty much what I did was I just put a coat of each shade on each side of the nail. On the pinky, I feel like it came out a lot better because I was not shy when applying the, um, the gel polish, but for some reason, when I did the rest of the nails, I applied thinner layers, which is always good, but I found when doing the ombre, just putting a tiny bit more product definitely seemed to make a lot more of a difference. Um, and I definitely got a much cleaner, better blended ombre. Now, this is the first time that I've ever used a brush like this, so it did take some getting used to, um, but as you can see here, I just used it to drag the colors together, and I slowly moved back and forth from the side to side of each nail, and just kind of brought the color from one side to the other, and so on and so forth. I definitely love the way that these colors blended. Um, Madame Glam's formula for their gel polishes is just so good, like I really love love their gels um at one point up until very recently i was a vip member um that's how much i loved their gels but i just cannot afford it at the moment um but vip members it is 29 dollars a month which gets transferred into store credit which does carry over from month to month um and basically you get um 50 off on your store purchases and you get early access to new collections. Um, and I believe that you also get an extra percentage off of the outlet store. So that's definitely something to think about. Now I did go in on my index finger with the other two, with the other shade of purple and the astrological goddess. And I did a little ombre there as well. Definitely loved how these nails were coming out. I was very, very pleased with my first attempt at using the ombre brush and the brush definitely made it a lot easier rather than using a fine line brush to kind of swipe the colors together. I was definitely feeling the way that it came out. So thank you, Madam Glam, for that amazing brush. Um, I did purchase that one on my own, but they have sent me other brushes in the past. You know, they're the bomb.com. I absolutely love doing PR for them. Here, I'm just taking the Astrological Goddess and I am doing the ring finger in a full coat of that. And then I'll be doing a full coat of the royal card um i think is that one on the thumb and then you're going to go ahead and see what i do next but this is just one coat and as you can see this is two coats and there really isn't much of a difference in the pigmentation between one and two coats which just goes to show how um pigmented that they are now for the ring and the thumb i didn't really want every single nail to have like the same exact design. Well, not the same exact design because they're all different colors, but I didn't want each and every nail to like look the same. So I decided to do the ring and the thumb as a full color. And then I did the vertical ombre as the French tip. And as you can see, I'm just dragging the brush back through the color just to disperse it um, down the tip of the nail to create the ombre. And then I'm doing the exact same thing here with Earth Sign. I'm telling you guys, I really, really love this color. I think it's my new favorite purple. Um, and I believe my other new favorite purple was also from them. I have to go look at the swatch stick, but this color here, this Earth Sign is absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
So once I had both of my colors down for the French nail tip on the ring finger, I just took the ombre brush and I went back through. A little thing that I found helpful was putting a little bit of each color in a tiny, tiny dot next to each other on my palette and kind of using that to um, add a little bit more color into certain spots and also having a very small amount of um, top coat just to kind of thin out areas that were a little bit more um, like muddy or that were like not really blending well because um, there just wasn't enough of one color or another. I'm definitely probably gonna do a more in-depth video as to how I did my ombres with this brush just because um, I think it would be helpful for me too to kind of practice with it more. But so far, this is what the ring finger was looking like. And I went in, cleaned it up, and did a second coat. And that's what I ended up with for my ombre. Now for the thumb, I did the lightest two shades. So the ombre is not quite as noticeable because, um, you know, two lighter shades together, they kind of resembled each other once they were ombre But this is what they were looking like as a shiny color, which was definitely still really cute. But here they are matte. Now I did not use Madame Glam's matte top coat. So if you have their matte top coat, your results may vary. Um, I really do need to get my hands on their matte top coat, but I did not have it for this video. And I really wanted these nails to be matte. I absolutely love them. They're, these came out so friggin' cute and the quality of the gels made this a breeze. Shout out to Madam Glam. Thank you so much for letting me join you guys in launching this collection yet again. Please be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and I hope that you'll join me for future videos.